ice in the Platte River is measuring between 12 and 15 inches thick, according to the National Weather Service. You can see the ice-covered river in this Sky Tracker 3 video. Recent warmer temperatures are leading to ice jams, which can cause flooding. We're seeing two areas of uh, jamming right now, uh, one by Fremont. Uh, that's been there for several weeks uh, with some minor flooding on the south side of Fremont. We have a new ice jam further upstream by Schuyler. Uh, that's impacting Highway 15 with water flowing over the roadway there. Video from the Sky Tracker 3 shows some road flooding by Schuyler. Officials from the National Weather Service say it's quite likely we'll see even more flooding. I think the magnitude would be significantly less than what we saw uh, back in 2019. This is a completely different situation. Uh, we might see some flooding, but it would be very isolated, very localized, probably very close to the river. Although the possible flooding would not be on the same scale as 2019, residents are still apprehensive. It's very stressful. Yeah, it's hard on people. A lot of people are still recovering from the last flood, so yeah, you just have to, you know, go day to day and do what you can. According to the National Weather Service, a gradual warm up in temperatures would be most ideal. But weather and ice jams are highly unpredictable. The thing with ice jam flooding is um, they're very fluid. Um, they can flush out very quickly sometimes, but sometimes they can take days and even weeks uh, for that ice jam to, to move through the system. So um, right now we've got the flood watch that goes until Monday. Um, with the flood warning uh, near Fremont goes until Monday and the flood warning up by Skylar goes through tomorrow. In Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now.